Got it. Thank you, Jimmy. Front page, back page of the MEN, and every other paper you care to mention, Sven. What hey. is that about? How can you sack a manager who's done the job that he has? Well, well you know you've made it when you're on the front and back. Um, I mean, to question uh, that his job might be up for, for negotiation just absolutely baffles me. Everybody I speak to, not just Blues, but anybody that knows football in general. I mean, we couldn't have got a better manager for the job. He knows the game inside out, the experience he's got and his lieutenants around him. Plus the fact is he's probably seen more English football than anybody over the last five years as manager of England. For me, it's very, very strange that <coughs> this has not been put to bed. It's, well, I find it incredible, Mike, but you work at City, so you've had a chance to talk to him. How do you rate him as a bloke? Oh, he's a, he's a super fellow. He's a nice man. He's easy to talk to. You know, and he, he's got the knowledge of the game, as Gary has said. You know, he goes out of his way to help people. He, he, you know, he's, he, he goes to the training ground and he, he comes out of his way to see you, make sure everything's right. His backroom staff are brilliant. And as Gary said, you know, he knows the game inside out. He knows club football, he knows international football. He's got a backroom staff, Tor Grip, who knows probably every player in the world. You know, so you, you know, when you read this in the paper, you know, either it's someone trying to sell newspapers or someone trying to wind something up. But if, as far as I'm concerned, he's the best manager we've had in this club, I would say, since uh, the Merce and Allison era. And I have to say that. I mean, Brian Norton was brilliant for us when he came. But at the end of the day, is I think we've got a manager here, we should be very, very lucky that we've got him because he can attract quality players to us as well.